Hey, what's going on everyone? I am the OP Jellicent and I have week number two of season number five of the WPL. Last week we took on a Texas men gaming coach of the Dallas Decidueyes and we had a very close match uh, which we ended up winning and that match will be down in the description below. It was very close and intense so I would definitely be sure to check that out. So we are coming into this match with a 1-0 record with plus 2 differential as um, Slave 8 is also 1-0 but he has a plus 1 differential I think. He ended up 1-0-ing uh, Godly Goomies last week but either way um, this should hopefully be a fun match. We're bringing um, a very similar team that we brought last week, except uh, we changed up some EV spreads and a few mods. We have uh, so the same Sash lead Azelf with Taunt, just in case he wants to bring like a lead Terrakion to try to get up rocks or just lead Bronzong. We have Shadow Ball coverage for that, as well as the Lottie and the Victini, so that can hopefully be do some work. Uh, we have Nasty Plot 3 attacks Thunderous. If none of his team is Scarf, that can actually um, win the game. But uh, I'm really expecting either Scarf Terrakion or Scarf Victini, so we're going to have to rid of those Scarfers if we want um, Nasty Plot Thunderous. We have uh, Thunderbolt, uh, Psychic, and Dark Pulse for the Latios, Latios sorry. so uh, that can hopefully put in a lot of work. We have uh, Scarfed Kiram Black, which can um, take a hit from the Victini unless it is Choice Banded. And if it is Choice Banded, we can bring on our Mana Feel right after that and start setting up, so um, hopefully that can work out. Uh, Scizor right here is uh, defensive. It's our main response to the Terrakion. We have 104 defense in it, which will ensure that we can live a choice banded close combat af uh, after Stealth Rocks, so that can um, be nice. And then we have um, a defensive Tail Glow Manaphy right here. Um, it, it is max speed, but it has not max special attack, so it will be able to avoid the 2 hit KO from the banded Victini's V crate. And then uh, Choice Scarf Flagon, which can clean the game if. Uh, once again, we can scout rid of the Scarfers and get rid of the Bronzong. So, let's go right into the match right now. He ends up leading off with the Bronzong, and I lead off with the Azelf. He probably just wanted to prioritize the Rock right here, as you guys are going to see. He does do that, and we can just lay off our own. Um, it turns out he misclicked right there. He did not meant to click Earthquake, so... Um, I, he, uh, he ends up losing out on a turn right there, but... He is still going to get a ton of damage off with the Gyro Ball. So, uh, like I said, the main reason we had Azelf in this match was pretty much just to... Uh, get up rocks, but uh, Taunt is going to end. I can't let uh, rocks get up no matter what because we need our Nasty Plot Thunder is healthy, as well as our uh, Scarf Kiram if we wanted to take that Banded V Create or uh, Scarf V Create from the Victini. So um, he's not going to be able to get up the Stealth Rocks, and we're going to be able to get up another Shadow Ball. So uh, really g a good scenario there. We weakened the Warangzong a lot. Bronzong was his main response to our Scarf to Dragons. So uh, we can bring out our Manaphy right here and just throw off a Surf, I believe. Uh, that would, uh, our, our hardest hitting attack to knock out the Bronzong, so we can not get some damage on the Lottie. Uh, bring in our Scizor right here, as he's going to go for Calm Mind. At plus one, we do have enough uh, Spidef in this thing to make, ensure that we leave HP Fire. Um, I did confirm with an after, he did have HP Fire on the Lottie, and if I were him, I probably would just would have gone for it, because uh, Scizor was his main response to the, uh, Myra's main response to his Terrakion. So um, if he got that HP fire off, this no longer responded to that, and he would have been able to do a lot of work with potential Scarf Terrakion, but here he's going to bring out the Bronzong and the sack it to the U-turn, uh, which is uh, probably what I was would have sacked to. And we can bring out our Kiram right now, as he brings out the Terrakion, so uh, this is Screaming Choice Scarf, because he probably wouldn't want to bring this out if we were not, ch if we, he was expecting us to be Choice Scarf. So I'm just going to pull out a uh, switch into my um, Scizor right here, as we can take that Iron Head. Uh, not sure exactly sure what he expected. Close combat was an all-around better player right there, but uh, U-turn is going to be able to Oko the Heliolisk. We are max attack, so we're kind of like a mixed bulky one with a lot of attack investment, so uh, that can work out here. He's just going to bring out the Victini, which, as you guys are going to see right here, we can unfortunately not knock out with the uh, Scarf Earth Power. We didn't have enough special attack investment, so he's going to be able to Oko us with uh, what is confirmed now to be Banded V-Create, and we can just pick him off with the U-turn right here. There's no reason for him to switch out and preserve because... Um, obviously he died to Scizor's Bullet Punch, and he didn't have um, uh, that um, many opportunities to get Hazard Control right now. He would have to pretty much check his Lottie in here. He's going to bring out the Lottie, attempting to, I guess, uh, Calm Mind, but we are attacking the Dark Pulse, so we just get to knock that thing right out. Um, here, I'm just going to confirm that he is Scarf Terrakion, as you guys are going to see. Um, I just clicked Psychic right there, because if he was not Scarf Terrakion, we would have knocked him out. And then Thunderbolt would have knocked out the x -Bloud, so... Um, all around best player right there. He's going to go for, I believe, the Stone Edge right here. I didn't want to switch in my Stone Edge on the, um, from the Thunderous, just knowing that he was Scarf Terrakion, because if he crit my Stone Edge, or if he got two high rolls, he could have two at KO'd us. So, uh, we can knock him out with two bullet punches right now. 
and one more bullet punch will put him in, into range of either my Manaphy Surf or my Scarf X, um, uh, Flagon's um, Outrage. So I decided to go Flagon because if he is um, Scarf with the um, um, x blot, I didn't expect him to be Scarf because he did knock out my Scizor, but if he was Scarf and he crit my Manaphy right there, he could have uh, knocked that out. But we could just bring out our Flagon right here and go for the Outrage and pick up the win. So that's, I think, our fourth win against Slaybait, and we are now 2-0, and which is... Uh, very nice. Uh, we do face Slaybait again this season in week 7. As I said in week 1, we do face the same opponents weeks 2 and 7 and weeks 3 and 9. So uh, we will get to rematch Slaybait later in the season. And uh, maybe in playoffs too, so who knows. Uh, next week I believe we face the um, the Thunderous, the Oklahoma City Thunderous and Tropify. So that'll be a fun match. That's also uh, one of our two-timer matches. We face him in weeks 3 and 9. So. Um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. The fact that we are now 2-0 with plus 4 differential. So, a uh, really nice start to the season. We're obviously trying to defend our title. And I will see you guys next week. Be sure to subscribe if you want to follow the Agrons. And I'll see you then.